Hi there. If you're a Terranid player with a tendency for overthinking things, it may bother you that the Brain Leech Devourer arms supplied with the Carnifex kit are the same size as the Devourers used by smaller creatures despite a very different in-game profile. Or maybe you just dislike the look of a Carnifex with tiny arms. Either way, today I'll be demonstrating a conversion for some more appropriate limbs. First, here's a comparison. At the bottom, we have the stock Carnifex Brain Leech Devourer arm. At the top, we have the Forge World Twin Linked Devourer arm. I like the general design of this weapon, but the limb itself is a lot bigger than the other Carnifex weapon arms, making them a bit too big to use as stand-ins for the Brain Leech Devourers. And lastly, in the middle, is the conversion I'll be demonstrating, right in between the other two in size. So for this conversion, I'm going to use a Carnifex Death Spitter, along with two regular Devourers from the Biomorph Sprue. Most Tyranid players have an excess of Devourers, so if you don't have any, check eBay. First things first, I'm going to slice through the Death Spitter arm right at the base of the barrel, where the diameter flares out slightly. Next, I'm going to slice the conical head of each Devourer. With the head of each Devourer removed, I trim off all the detail on the bottom of the Devourer. I use a steel file to make sure it forms a contiguous flat surface. Once I've done this for both Devourers, I can check how they fit to one another. When the gap is small enough, I apply plastic glue to one head and stick them together. After the glue has had time to dry, I check fitment to the Death Spitter arm. Unsurprisingly, the Devourer heads don't form a flat surface to mate to the Death Spitter arm, but that's easy to fix. I just use my steel file to file it down a bit. Now they fit much better, so I apply a generous amount of glue to the Death Spitter arm, then attach the Devourer heads and make sure everything lines up. Using a bit more glue than I normally would would help fill any gaps and mate the two pieces together. Once that dries, I can trim with a knife or fill gaps with putty as needed, but this one's come out perfectly, so now I can either glue it to the model or, as I would highly recommend, magnetize it. If you're interested in magnetization, check out my Tyranid Warrior magnetization guide in the description. 5x2mm magnets are perfect for Carnifex arms and sockets. Anyways, here's what it looks like all painted up. The classic Quad Devourer DAC effects takes on a more imposing profile, and I think these arms work better as secondaries to the other weapons as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.